Let's get started with the basics of Excel. In this video, we will launch Excel in our computer and take a quick tour of the user interface of Excel. Click Start. And in my case, I have already added Microsoft Excel 2010 pinned to my Start menu. In your case, it may look different. In general, if you're using Windows 7 operating system, you should be able to go to All Programs click and Microsoft Office and you should be able to see Microsoft Excel 2010 if you already have it installed in your computer. I also have Office 2013 installed in my computer so I'm able to see the applications as part of the bundle of Office 2013. In this course I will be using Microsoft Excel 2010. If you are using a different operating system other than Windows 7 and if you're using a version that is different from Excel 2010. The screens that you may see may be slightly different, but all the concepts still apply. So I'm going to click here on Microsoft Office 2000, Excel 2010 to open the program. This is how the screen looks like when you open Excel for the first time. I know there is a lot of items on your screen right now, but let's try to understand this in simple terms. I like to think of the screen as two sections. Section one is this large area of small rectangles, which I am going to call the grid area. And I like to compare the grid to a sheet of paper in a paper notebook. In your paper notebook, you use the area to write information using a pen or a pencil and here we're going to be able to type information using our keyboard so this is a digital notebook where you're going to use keyboard to type information and also we're going to store it in digital format in your computer so these are digital notebooks so excel is a program that can help you create not just regular notebooks but magical digital notebooks. The reason why I'm calling them magical is because of all the things that you see at the top here, all these items, and these are going to help you create magical notebooks. And these notebooks will be able to perform incredible things that are impossible to do in a paper notebook. And we will be talking more about these magical tools in the later videos in this course. But for now, let's just be aware that there are seven different items here and each of this is called a ribbon. So if I choose click on insert, I get a lot of different new functions and tools and these are gonna help us do specific tasks in the future but for now, be aware that there are seven default ribbons available which are going to help you create magic in your notebook.